Hello everybody, my name's Liz, I'm the Baker That Sews. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you are a subscriber. It's lovely to have you here as always. So today's video is a September makes plan. So what I'm hoping to get sewn up in the month of September. Now I wasn't sure whether I was going to be able to do one of these videos because my machine was taken in for a service and when we dropped it off they told us it would be at least three weeks. But I got a call yesterday to say that it's ready and we went and picked it up this morning. So I will be able to do a little bit of sewing in September. I'm not sure how much time I'm going to be able to set aside this month for sewing because it's the start of the new school year, which if you work in a school, you will know it's really full on and I'm always absolutely exhausted by the end of the week. Um, and it's also my daughter's 12th birthday at the end of this month so we're going to be quite busy with that and it's my little sister's 18th birthday as well so there's going to be quite a lot of busy celebration-y stuff going on this month so I'm not sure how much time I'm going to get to sew but I thought I'd plan some things there's a couple of things that I've almost finished um, so I'll definitely have things to share at the end of the month but maybe not as much as I usually do have for um, all the reasons that I've just stated before I start, I'll tell you what I'm wearing. This is the Sew Over Eve dress in this lovely fabric that I got from Sew Me Sunshine. I'll just stand up so you can see. So it's a wrap. Um, it's got the lovely fluted sleeves on. And I'll put a picture in of me wearing it. It's really comfortable. I always put a vest up underneath because I'm just worried about flashing myself. So my first plans, I was going to say my first two plans, but I don't know if I'll make both of them. And I've also put a video out already about this asking people to help me choose which pattern to use. So I really want to take part in the hashtag so vintage September and I'll put all the details down below for that challenge because I was gifted lots of vintage patterns and I haven't got round to making them yet. And I think this is the push to get me to start using some of those beautiful patterns. So I've picked two, I've managed to narrow it down. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below so you can go and watch it. But I share quite a few of my vintage patterns and ask for help in deciding. Now, the two that I've narrowed it down to is Style 2290, which is this, and I would make this beautiful, yeah, I would make this one. Um, so be below the knee, or Simplicity 7909, and I would make this full-on jumpsuit although I said the full-on jumpsuit I actually quite like the idea now of this one but with tights on underneath and I'll show you a couple of fabrics that I've got to go with both of these patterns so to go with this one I have got two quite different fabrics now I think they're both from Sumi Sunshine the first one I'm going to show you it's got white background I think it's a viscose it's either a viscose or a rayon I've had this in my stash for years. It's got white background, but it's got all these black flowers all over it. And then the flowers, if I bring it closer, I've got like yellow bits in. So I need something that's got drape. This has definitely got drape. And I think this would actually look really cute, again, with like black tights and maybe some either black shoes or some yellow shoes to bring out the pop of colour in that. Um, so I'm thinking this fabric for this dress and I love these sleeves and I think this would just work beautifully for that pattern. The other fabric that I've got for this pattern is something that I guess is a bit more summery so I'm not sure how much wear I would get out of it at the moment but this is from Sony Sunshine. It's got all these gorgeous flowers on, it's got very white background um, and then it's got all these little dots which I absolutely love like teal coloured dots. It's got a lovely large scale print and again it's got a really lovely drape, so I think it would work beautifully for that dress. I've got enough of both fabrics, I'm just not sure which fabric to use for that one, but I think they would both work really well for that dress. And then the second pattern, the jumpsuit, either this one or this one, because I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to do. I've got two fabrics, yeah. So I've got this one, again from Sony Sunshine, I've had this in my stash for ages and ages, and I shared this with my, when I did my hashtag show us your stash because I bought this for a friend but I think she's since changed her mind so I've got three meters of this so I know I've definitely got enough to turn that into a jumpsuit but I'm just not sure if that's a bit too much for a jumpsuit. I was saying this fabric I was thinking would make an amazing jumpsuit but I'm not sure if that would be a bit too much so I'm thinking if I did go with this fabric that I would make the, the shorter version. Basically I need you to help me decide. Is that too much head to toe as a jumpsuit? 
or do you think I go for that and make the shorter version? I'm so indecisive with this sort of thing. I've had this fabric for so long and actually I've got um, a sew over Eve dress made out of this fabric and I would just really love to turn it into something else. I know I love this print and I've worn the sew over it dress a lot, the Eve dress in this fabric. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna stand up and drape myself in the fabric now. Is it too much as a full on jumpsuit? I'm not sure. Because it'd be quite high necked too. I'm not sure. Either the short jumpsuit or the long jumpsuit. Because I've got enough to make the long jumpsuit. I'm going to move on to the next fabric for this pattern. So making the long jumpsuit or the short jumpsuit. This one I think would look beautiful as the long jumpsuit and I don't think this would be too like in your face as a longer jumpsuit, you know, from neck to toe. This is from Selvage and Bolts. It's a gorgeous fabric, I've had it for a while. I'm not sure if I've got enough to do the full jumpsuit because I think I've only got two meters or maybe I've got two and a half. Now I've got two and a half meters but it's not very wide. So I don't know if I'd have enough to make the full jumpsuit, but again, it's got gorgeous drape and that one had a gorgeous drape as well, actually. This one, I think I could carry off a bit more as a full on jumpsuit. So it's this one or this one for this pattern. One of them will be made into that pattern because I'm definitely going to make this one. And then this one, if I get time, I'll get made up as well but I definitely want to make this one. And it looks quite straightforward. It's only got, I think, three pattern pieces because you've got the front and the back pattern pieces and then you've got the neck facings. And then if I do the shorter one, that's all you've got. Oh, and then you've got the sleeve piece as well. Sorry, I'd forgotten about that. One, two, three, four, four. So five, piece, five pattern pieces all together. Front neck facing, back neck facing, front, back and the sleeve. So actually, in terms of sewing it up, it should be quite straightforward. It's got a back zipper, um, which is fine. And then the long sleeves have got an elastic casing, which I think I would definitely do. If I did this one, I would definitely do this um, sleeve with the elastic casing. If I did this one, I think I would do the short sleeve, because then I could wear a long top underneath if I needed to. So, those are my plans for the vintage patterns. I'm not 100% sure which fabrics, but I've definitely got four fabrics narrowed down for those two patterns. And I'm very excited about having a go at sewing up a vintage pattern because it's something new and I do like learning something new. The next thing that I'm hoping to get sewn up or finished, should I say, is the um, Sew Over It Sorrento denim jacket from their Summer Dreaming ebook, which I'll put pictures in so you can see what it looks like. But it's this that Lisa's wearing. It's a gorgeous denim jacket, a thick denim jacket. I've made two versions already for myself, one in a um, duck egg blue denim and then one in a bottle green corduroy and I absolutely adore it. And then my daughter asked if I'd make one for her. So I'm just using some denim. Um, where did I get this denim from? I can't remember. I'll flash it across the screen once I've double checked where I got it from. But I've made quite a lot of progress and then I had to stop because my machine went in for a service. Um, so we've got the um, back assembled and the front assembled. We've got the pockets on and then, I don't know if you can see, but I chose to use a really nice facing for the pocket. I used a fat quarter from a So Haley Jane box. Um, I haven't put the buttons on or done the buttonholes. So the next job, because I've put the collar on, is doing the sleeves and sorting out the sleeve binding and then inserting the sleeves, sewing the side seams, putting on the waistband, buttonholes, buttons, tabs on the back, and I think that's everything. So, a couple of hours, I mean, I am having to sew in batches now where I sew for a couple of hours at a time. I'm hoping I'll get this finished by the end of September because there's not actually a huge amount left to do. And I've made it a couple of times um, and she's desperate to have a denim jacket. So, I'm going to get that finished and that's just finishing off. That should be a fairly simple, quick make to finish. Then I am halfway through or almost finished actually. It's, it's the last step of this lovely shirt for my husband. It's the, again, so over it, Hackney shirt and it's made in this fantastic print that I got from DIY Dye, D 
DIY or die leads um, and I've turned it into the hackney shirt my husband asked if I could use this fabric to make another hackney shirt for him for work so everything's done collars on um, I've done the um, cuffs there on I've done the cuff um, facing no not facing what you call it the placket for the cuff um, I've already said about the collar like everything is done I just need to do buttonholes and buttons on the cuff and then the same down the front of the shirt. I've hemmed it as well. So it literally needs buttonholes and buttons. So I will definitely get that finished. In fact, I've bought the buttons already. Um, I went and bought those last weekend, hoping that I would get my machine, my machine back sooner. So that should be a really straightforward job. Um, and now that my machine's been serviced, buttonholes should be an absolute dream. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to getting that finished. Then I'm just having a look at my plan. So I'm sure I'm not the only one that saw this amazing uh, rainbow fabric on Sam's um, Instagram. So Purple Sewing Cloud, she shared this fabric. It's from Rainbow Fabrics and I'll link their details down below. It's a viscose crepe and as soon as I saw it, I love anything bright and colourful. I love anything with stripes and I love anything with rainbows. I went ahead and bought myself a couple of metres of this. came really quickly actually. Um, and then they included a little bag of buttons, which was a really generous thing to do. So thank you to Rainbow Fabric. I'm going to turn it into the Heidi dress by AK Patterns. And I'm going to do this version here with the ruffle down the front and the back and then the lovely skirt. And of course, I'm going to put pockets in. So I'm really excited to get that finished. That's a lovely dress. I know that it fits me really nicely because they have two different bodice blocks. A bodice block for AB um, bust and a bodice block for CD bust. Um, and I use the CD bust and I make up an 8 and I know it fits me really nicely on the bodice which is great so I'm really excited to get that sewn up and actually with that fabric I think this fabric will go nicely with tights as well so I will be able to wear it in the autumn when it gets slightly chillier okay the next thing on the list that I'm hoping to get sewn up I've seen so many beautiful versions of this pattern so I know that um, Keely from Voice for Creative, she's made this pattern and I know that Cotton Reel Studios has made this pattern and I've seen so many beautiful versions, it's just made me really want to get it sewn up. It's the Helen's Closet Gilbert shirt and I really want to make this version that's slightly cropped and then it's got this tie um, detail at the front. Let me see if I can find the line drawings for you. There we go. So I'm hoping to do this version. I've been told it's quite straightforward. Um, and I think now that I've done the Cali shirt and I've done a couple of shirts for my husband, I think it should be quite a straightforward make. I've got fabric that I bought from Semi Sunshine. It's already cut out, ready to go. I just need the time to sit down and actually give it a go. Um, I think once I finish my husband's shirt and my daughter's denim jacket, then I'll be able to focus on something new. Because currently I've got a couple of projects like half finished. So I just need to finish those and then I can go on to something new. So it is this, it's not going to come up very well. It's a broidery anglaise fabric from Semi Sunshine with these beautiful little flowers all over it. And I'm really excited to have a white shirt, despite the fact that I'm really messy and clumsy. I'm looking forward to having a white shirt in my wardrobe because I think it'll go with so much of what I've got. Um, so I'm really excited about giving that a go. And I think it's got so many cute details, this shirt. I really like the tie detail. I really like the collar and it's got a patch pocket. And I just think all the versions I've seen look so lovely, it made me desperately, desperately want to make it. So the next thing that I am planning to get sewn up in September is something that I've already got cut out, so I can only show you a little bit of the fabric. But this fabric is from Felicity Fabrics. It's a crepe and it's a navy background. It's coming up slightly darker on camera with white polka dots. And I'm using that to make the one of the latest patterns from Sew Over It. It's the Maisie dress. Um, I don't have the line drawings in front of me because it's a PDF and I tend to use my laptop for the instructions. Um, but I'll put line drawings in of what the dress looks like. But it's got a wrap front and then it's got this lovely skirt. And I think it'll be a great addition to my wardrobe for work. So part of my role at school, I'm assistant ahead of early years, so part of my role means four days of the week I'm in class teaching, getting covered in paint, play-doh, on the floor, etc. And then one day a week I'm out of class and it's my leadership time. So I tend to be in meetings or in class helping and supporting or I might be um, going off to visit other settings. Um, so I tend to dress a little smarter on my day out of class. 
Um, it's quite nice to be able to dig into my wardrobe and grab some of my smarter outfits and just yeah, put on a nicer frock that I know is not gonna get covered in paint. So I thought it'd be nice to have a new dress that was a little bit smarter for the new school term for that day of the week when I'm out of class. So that's what I'm planning to do with that fabric. I'm going to be making the new pattern, or one of the new patterns by Sew Over It, the Maisie dress. So those are all of my plans. Quite a few finishing off. Um, I'm hoping that I will be able to get lots of these sewn up, but like I said, it's the start of the school year and I've got lots of birthday celebrations going on this month. So we'll see by the end of September what I've managed to get done. Thank you as ever for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, it would be amazing if you could subscribe. I've just noticed that I've gone over 2,500 subscribers, which is amazing. So thank you to every single one of you that has subscribed. Um, hope whatever you're up to, you're having a lovely time and you're keeping safe and you're all well. And I'll be back soon with another video. Take care. Bye.